Good evening, good evening, good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Feast SN South Mall. Woo! Come on, let's make some noise. And right now, we have to feel God's presence in this place. And we will have some soul worship this morning. I want to say hi also to our online viewers. Let's worship right now. And I want you to say this small word. That you will feel in your heart. Say soul. Come on, let me hear you, soul. Sing it this way. Come on, put your hands together. One, two, three, four. So.
and every season you keep repeating promises to me. Oh, oh, oh. Well, there's no stopping what you have started. articulated, ganda yung pagkakasabi, ganda ng composition. Pero, you know what? The Lord doesn't need that. The Lord doesn't need your prayers. The Lord doesn't need your words. What He needs is your heart. And He wants your heart. So we don't have to overthink and overcomplicate things. Kasi sometimes, we just, we could just say, Lord, I need help. Lord, di ko na kaya. Lord, payakap naman. Hindi na kita nararamdaman eh. Siguro ganun yung what's going on in the minds of the Israelites as they were walking in the land and the wilderness for 40 years. So they're saying every prayer that they know because they're so frustrated, lost, desperate. And you know what? Struggles from then and now, it's always there. But you know what makes it worthwhile? Because from then and now, God is always there with you. Amen. So all we have to do is just humble ourselves, come before Him as we are. Open our hearts, open our minds, and let Him fill us. In the darkest days of our lives, hold on to Jesus, because He's the light. But God is all powerful, almighty, and ever glorious. We are not worthy, we are not qualified. 
qualified, but God makes us qualified. Amen. So let the song be our desperate prayer. And let us cry out every desperation, every frustration. you 
that God is for you. Can you make a joyful shout of praise to Him today? Can you high five as many people as you can and tell them God is for you? At kung naniniwala ka that God is for you, you will have a declaration in your heart. Yes? Declaration that life will always be good even if you do not see it because God is for you. Yes? So therefore, let's declare God's presence in this place. As we all together say, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together, today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's honor God's word. Extend your hands to the word. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Allow me to read to you. Numbers 11, verse 18. And it says here, The Lord heard you when you cried. Can you say that again? The Lord heard you when you cried. Sino sa inyo ang naiyak na sa dahil sa problema sa pinagdadaanan mo sa buhay? Hindi, hindi nito nakaraan. Maybe some few years back. Pero naiyak ka na, yung parang may pinagdadaanan ka na. At may mga iba't ibang klaseng iyak, tama ba? Mayroong iyak na yung, yung higbi, yung, yung sabing, no, kasi iniwan ka ng boyfriend mo, yung parang, yung gano'n, yung higbi. Ayaw mo ipakita sa iba na nasaktan ka eh, di ba? Lalo na sa mga magulang mo. Tapos meron ding iyak na yung iyak pangit, no? Yung ngoy-ngoy, yung Ah, ay talagang may merong pain. At meron ding iyak na talagang yung wailing. Nanganganak. <laughs> Nanganganak or namatayan, di ba? Iba't ibang iyak sa buhay. Pero this amazes me. Alam mo, sa lahat ng tao, tanging ina Tanging ina. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Tanging ina lang. Yung talagang parang nakakarinig ng iyak ng kanyang mga anak. Tama ba? Tapos nga kami mga nanay. Yung, yung alam mo, lalo, lalo na nung pag, pag may baby, di ba? Pag baby yung, yung anak mo. Yung misan, si, naalala ko nung si Jinky, nung bagong hmm. panganak lang yung panganay namin. Tan, may ginagawa kami sa labas. Tapos nat, natutulog si Miguel sa kwarto. Biglang, Papa, tignan mo nga, gising na yata yung anak mo. Pero kung tignan ko naririnig, bakit? Sabi ko, kakatulog lang eh. Hindi, parang umiiyak. Tapos pagpunta ko, umiiyak nga. It amazes me. Mostly mothers hear their children cry. Yung kahit na yung malaki na, nararamdaman nila yung iyak nung kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. You know why? Ito akin nito ah. Because maybe mothers anticipates that her baby needs her. Nakailangan siya nung baby niya. Ina-anticipate na niya. Friends, why am I sharing this to you? The God that we worship here in the feast is like a mother. Para siyang nanay that He knows what you are going through. He knows what you need. And He anticipates your cry of help in your pain. 
Kaya kung pumunta ka ngayon dito, meron kong pinagdadaanan, pumunta ka ngayon dito, you have problems so big na hindi mo alam paano ang solusyonan, or you, you might have pains that you feel are killing you, I want you to believe that when you come to Him in prayer, when you cry for help, when you run to Him in the heaviness of your heart, He will run to you. Tatakbo ang Diyos sa'yo. Why? Because God, the God that we worship here, anticipates your need and He's just waiting for you to call Him. He will run to you. Dahil alam niya ang pinagdadaanan. Can you place your hand over your heart? And let us come before the God who knows the deepest pain, the deepest needs of our hearts. Lord, I know that you are for me. I know that you are for us. And I know, Lord, that even if we find sometimes hard to tell it and speak it out, you already know what we need. You anticipate our cry for help. That's why we come before you today. At ano man ang pinagdadaanan ng bawat isa sa amin sa lugar na ito. Tulungan mo kaming manalik, tulungan mo kaming manampalataya to believe that when we call upon your name, you will come because you anticipate our cry for help. And this I pray to you, this I claim today, in Jesus' name. Thy word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. Palakpakan natin natin, Panginoon. Praise Him. Praise worthy to be praised. You can sit down now. And as you sit down, tell the person beside you, God is for you. And let's give a big hand to our worship team. Palakpakan natin yung ating music ministry. What a wonderful worship. And I would like to welcome our first timer. Meron ho ba ngayon lang nakapunta sa Feast SM South Mall? Ayan! If you're near them, pakibati nyo naman sila. Sabi nyo, welcome. This is your home now. At the end of our gathering, gusto namin sana kayo imbitahan dun sa lobby. We have something for you. And we want to connect with you para makilala namin kayo. At magkaroon kayo ng kaibigan dito sa, sa feast. And we'd like to thank also those people who invited them. Palakpakan din natin sila. And we'd like to welcome also those who are watching online, whether, where, wherever you are right now. Sana makasama namin kayo in our gathering here, live in SM South Mall. So are you ready for God's word for you? We are still in the wilderness series and we're talking about the book of Numbers. And today the topic is entitled, Stop Complaining, Start Trusting. May mga kaibigan, they went into the wilderness and they set up a tent. At nung natutulog na sila, itong dalawa nag-usap, sabi gano'n nung... nung nung isang kaibigan, sabi niya, pare, sabi niya, may napapansin ka ba sa, sa, sa taas, above us? Sabi nung kaibigan niya, oo, pare, sabi niya, I see the alignment of the stars. Sabi niya, ang ganda. Nakita ko ng seahorse. Nakikita ko, meron doon, no? parang Scorpio yata yun. Parang bahay kubo pa nga doon eh. Sabi nung kaibigan, ah, pare, isum out mo ng konti. Isum out mo ng konti. Ano nakikita mo? Ah, So, uh, yung, yung buwan, bilog pala yung buwan. Ang ganda ng buwan, ang liwanag. Sabi niya, pare, zoom out mo pa. Zoom out. Uh, 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 clear yung sky, pare. Clear yung sky. Ang ganda ng sky. Sabi niya, pare, zoom out mo pa. 
Pare, wala na. Ano ba bang ma- dapat ko makita? Sabi niya, pare, hindi ba nakikita? Ninakaw na yung bubong ng tent natin. <laughs> wala na yung tent. Friends, when you are in the wilderness, do you focus on something to celebrate or to something to complain about? Ano ang tinitingnan mo when you are in a season of wilderness? Now, here's the one big message of my talk today. Stop complaining, start celebrating. Can you say that? Now, let's go macro and know where we are in our story. You know, after 400 years of as being a slave in Egypt, God rescues the Israelites. And he led them to the pit stop in Mount Sinai. Alam natin yan. And that pit stop took them or lasted for an entire year. Isang taon nandun sila. Which is the whole book of Leviticus. Then in the past two Sundays, we talk about the book of Numbers. Numbers 1 to 10. Showing us how they prepared going to the promised land. And today we'll talk about Numbers chapter 11 and 12. This is the story, their, their story of their first step to the wilderness. And it starts with verse 1, Numbers 11, verse 1. And it says here, soon the people began to complain about their hardship. You know, only after three days of their journey to the wilderness, they start complaining. Nagsimula na naman silang, ano ba yung complaining? magreklamo. Yung parang sa buhay natin, sino dito yung may mga asawa na? Ayan, di ba? Nung may asawa ka, bagong kasal kayo, yung asawa mo, wow, lahat na nakikita mo sa kanya, maganda. Tama? And this is the first time na magkasama kayong matulog. Tapos this is also the first time na nakita mo siya at narinig mo siyang humilik. At hindi hilik yung hagok. Yung ganun. Ganun yung narinig mo. So kaya ikaw, yung first night nyo, ano sabi mo? Uy, ang cute. Di ba? Ang cute. Kasi first time mo nakita Ang cute naman niya. Tapos second night, ganun naman. Ganun na naman. Ang sabi mo, kakataba naman ng puso. Kasi safe siya sa akin. Nakatulog siya ng ganyan. Grabe maghilig. Ibig sabihin, malalim ang tulog. Pero nung isang linggo na, mugto na yung mata mo sa buyat. Ano sabi mo? Takban ko na kaya na unan nitong tabang ito. Di ba? Para gusto ba na takban yung unan? Nagre-reklamo ka na. You know, this is not the first time that the Israelite people complained. If you look at back in Exodus, right after being liberated, nung, nung iligtas sila n- ng Diyos from, from Egypt, nag-complain na sila. They complain about this army rushing over them, yung humahabol sa kanila. Tapos, they complain being hungry and thirsty in the wilderness when they going to Mount Sinai. Nagreklamo na sila. Kaya sila, inisyuhan na ng Diyos ng ID, ng PRC. Uh, hindi yung Professional Regulation Commission na ID na meron nyo iba sa inyo. Na PRC, it means Professional Reklamador Commission. Uh, Napaka-reklamador kasi nito mga to. So, inisyuhan na sila ng ID. But you know, to be fair, if you look at their story, the Israelite, at least in the book of Numbers, they are not the one who started complaining. Hindi sila yung nagsimula nung pagko-complain. Tignan natin sino ang nagsimula. Let's look at verse 4. And it says here, then the foreign rabble, foreign rabble, ito yung mga kakosa nilang tumakas sa Egypto. Yung mga, these are the Egyptians who went with them nung umalis sila sa Egypt. These are the foreign rebels who were traveling with the Israelites began to crave the good things in Egypt. Naalala nila yung magandang nangyari sa amin sa Egypt. And the people of Israel also began to complain. Doon sila nagsimulang magreklamo. Nahawa sila sa complain nitong mga Egyptian na ito. Friends, here's a lesson. Be careful with the conversation you join. Mag-ingat ka dun sa mga taong sinasamahan mo. Mag-ingat ka dun sa mga social media na pinapanood mo. Because complaining is contagious. Sabi nyo nga, contagious. 
Yung, imagine mo, first timer ka, dumating ka dito sa peace, tapos, pag uwi mo, ang saya-saya mo, bakit? Sabi mo, ang galing ng worship. Ang galing pala ng worship ministry ng Peace Out Mall. Tapos, ang ganda ng talk. Tapos, ang sarap ng upuan. Ha, yung iba sa inyo, nakikita ko talaga, pag ganong-ganong kayo, habang nagtutok ako, parang nangiingit. No? Parang ako nangiingit sa inyo. Yung, yung ganun, sabi, ang galing. Tapos, the following Sunday, nag-invite ka ng kaibigan. Sabi, sama ka sa akin. Ang saya doon. Ang saya, join me. So that is a second Sunday. Kaya lang, third Sunday, nako, na-late ka, so napaupo ka dun sa taas. Tapos nung na, nandun ka na sa taas, yung katabi mo, ang sabi nung katabi mo, ang ingay naman ng music ministry ngayon. Ang sakit sa dibdib nung bass. Yung ganun. No? Ingay ng instrument. Tapos dahil late ka, nandun ka sa taas, Yung isang katabi mo sabi, hirap na umakit dito. Ang sakit sa tuhod. <laughs> The following week, hindi, ito pa pala, narinig mo yung isang katabi mo. Sabi nung katabi mo, si Brother James, every Sunday na lang, nag exhort sa LO. Wala bang savings ang fees na ito? Kaya the following week, anong sabi mo? Ay, sa bahay na lang ako mag-online feast. Bakit? Kasi wala nga akong ma- magandang upuan, pero pwede ako man- manood habang nakahiga. Komportable pa rin. Tapos pag medyo maingay yung worship, pwede kong hinaan yung volume. At pag si Brother James nagsabi na naman tungkol sa L, o pwede kong palitan ng channel. Yung, yung ganun, nahahawa ka. Andali nating mahawa. Tama ba? It's easier for us to be influenced focusing on the bad rather than the good. Mas madali, mong, madali ka ma-influensyahan na makita yung mali kesa dun sa maganda. Like, let, let's see. Like, these pictures. Tignan mo itong pictures na to. Ano nakikita niyo sa mga pictures na to? What do you see? Duck. Ayan. It's an ugly duck. Sino nakakita ng duck? May nakita pa kaiba? The rabbit. Nakita mo yung rabbit. Medyo cute yung rabbit na nakaharap doon. Na? Medyo cute yung rabbit. Uh, let's look at another another picture. Let's look at the picture. Ano nakita mo? Old lady. A hog. Sino nakita? Taas ang kamay. Sino nakakita nung young lady? Young lady na naka, nakatingin doon sa likod. Nakita niya? Sinong wala nakita? Masyado malam po siya upuan mo. Lumipat ka doon sa hagdan. Ha? <laughs> nakita niya, nakauna ko niya sinasabi ko, it's easier for us to be influenced to look at the bad things. That's why we need to be careful with people we are associating with. Let's, let's be careful with the social media kasi bakit madali kang mahawa ng negativity. Kasi nga, hawa ka mga kamay ng katabi mo, sabi mo sa kanya, lumayo ka sa taong nega. Hindi negra, nega. Ha? Sa taong nega. Bawian mo nga, sabi mo nga sa kanya. Kaya nga next week, sa iba na ako upo. Now, but let me clarify something dito sa reading natin. Baka ang tanong na iba sa inyo, is, Brother James, is all complaining bad? Masama bang mag-complain? Lahat ba ng complain masama? Let's look at the following verse in verse 11 to 14. And it says here, And Moses said to the Lord, Why are you treating me, your servant, so harshly? Have mercy on me. What did I do to deserve the burden of all these people? Deserve ko ba yung burden na bit-bit ko ngayon dahil dito sa mga taong ito? Remember, there are about almost 2 million Israelites and He is the one leading these people at ang dami nilang reklamo. And did I give birth to them? Did I bring them into the world? Ako ba yung tatay nila? Why did you tell me to carry them in my arms like a mother carries a nursing baby? How can I carry them to the land you swore to give their ancestors? Where am I supposed to get meat for all these people? Kasi nagre-reklamo na itong mga ito, humihingi ng pagkain. 
and they keep whining to me saying, give us meat to eat, I can carry all these people by myself. The load is far too heavy. Are all complaining bad? The answer is no. There's a right way of complaining. Kailan nangyayari yan? When you want to be real with God and expose your raw emotions before Him. You know, this is what I called holy complaining. Sabi niyo holy complaining. Ano yung holy complaining? You are compla- your complaining is born out of a God intimacy. Yung gusto mo siyang sundin, you want to obey Him, you want to do His work, but you find it burdensome, medyo mabigat. So you pour out your hearts to Him in prayers. And that's what the psalm misses. And we can see that in Psalm 142. I pour out my complaints before Him and tell Him all my troubles. When I am overwhelmed, you alone know the way I should turn. You know, it's okay to complain, friends, as long as you complain it in front of God. When our complaining is born out of God's intimacy, yun dahil gusto mo siyang sundin, kaya lang minsan, alam mo yun, dahil sa pagsunod mo sa kanya, nahihirapan ka. You can complain to Him. And once you do that in front of Him, God will hear your call. And we can see that in the following verse, in verse 16 to 17. Then the Lord said to Moses, Gather before me 70 men who are recognized as elders and leaders of Israel. 72, kumuha ka ng 72 na lalaki. Bring them to the tabernacle to stand there with you. I will, call, come, I will come down and talk to you there. I will take some of the spirit that is upon you. Ibig sabihin nun, anointing. Ibig niya, ibig sabihin nun, spirit. And I will put the spirit, I will put anointing upon the 72 people. They will bear the burden of the people along with you. You will not have to carry it alone. God listened to Moses' holy complaint. That's why not all complaints are bad. When you complain that Alam yun, you, before God that you want to do something like sa, sa mga sitwasyon sa buhay natin, sitwasyon sa paligid natin, sitwasyon sa gobyerno natin, God can hear your call. If it is born out of this intimacy that you have with Him. But you know, this complaining that we see from the Israelite in the book of Numbers, ay iba ito? Iba? Tignan natin, ang sabi dito, Numbers, is about chronic complaining fueled by a rebellious spirit and lack of trust in God. Yung kulang ka ng tiwala sa Diyos, kaya puro ka reklamo, yun yung gustong sabihin ng numbers. And this is what we can see in the Israelite people. Alam nyo, in my experience, I, re- I realized that our minds have default setting. We have habitual way of thinking. We have two modes to choose from. Complaining or celebrating? Complaining or celebrating? Halimbawa, example, mainit. Ha? Sino sa inyong nagreklamo na na mainit? Yan. Yan, yan talagang, di ba? Ang init ngayon. Yan. Pat kili-kili mo, singit mo. Di ba? Basang-basa na sa init. Are you complaining or celebrating? Because, because there are things that you can still celebrate about. Tama? That kahit mainit. Bakit? Kasi at least, mamamaximize mo yung aircon mo. Ha? Kasi mga nanay, pag aircon, di ba, babaan mo yung temperature. Di ba? So ngayon, at least, baka mat- matry mo na pag nagmax yung aircon mo. Di ba? Are you complaining or celebrating? Sabi ng iba, Brother James, wala kami yung aircon. Walang aircon. So, mainit, walang aircon. Are you still complaining or celebrating? Anong ibig sabihin sa celebrating? Wala kang aircon pero meron ka namang pamaypay na galing sa Spain. Parang katulad nito. Parang wala kang aircon, mainit, pero meron ka namang pamaypay na galing Spain. 
Spain, parang palengke lang yata. Spain Street, na? Uh, are you complaining or celebrating? Brother James, wala rin akong pamaypay na galing Spain. So, mainit, wala kang pamaypay, but are you still celebrating? Meron ka pa rin bang pwedeng makitang dapat i-celebrate? Mainit, walang aircon, walang pamaypay, at least masusuot mo na yung aircon mong damit. <laughs> Diba? <laughs> Something to celebrate about. Sana tinastaasan mo ng konti. Para, okay. <laughs> Wala ka baka natin sa bench. Thank you, bench. Again, what is your default mode? Ano yung default mode mo? Are you complaining or celebrating? You know, default complainers are blind to the abundance around them. Pag ang default mo, negative lagi, complain lagi, hindi mo makikita yung kabutihan ng Diyos na nasa paligid mo. Now, how do we switch our default setting if your default setting is complaining? Sabi ni Angela Grice, a speech-language pathologist specializing in neurocognition. Siya ay teacher sa Columbia University at ito yung sabi niya. The more you do something, the more entrenched that path becomes in your brain. And the more you continue to do it. In other words, we switch habit through repetition. Like, alimbawa, sino sa inyo dati hinahirapang gumising na umaga? Ang ngayon, ngayon, nahirap kayo gumising na umaga kasi hindi kayo nahirapan dati. Di ba? Yung gusto mo baguhin yung habit mo, gusto mo magising ka ng 6 o'clock para hindi ka malilate, anong ginagawa mo? Nagpapa-alarm ka. Tama? 6 o'clock, yung alarm mo. Tapos, every day, 6 o'clock, nag alarm yon. Tapos mamaya, magugulat ka na lang, sira na yung alarm mo. Bakit? Kasi binuto mo na, lagi kang ginigising. No, ayaw mo ang tamayo. Hindi. Nagkaroon ka ng body clock. It's about repetition. Friends, if you want to change your habit of complaining, we need to switch through repetition. Today, I will share with you three messages on how to switch from complaining to celebrating. Ilan? Tatlo. Three messages from our reading. And here's the first one. Ready? Don't crave for what's predictable, trust God's unforeseeable. Sabihin nyo nga. Let's go back to the reading. Then the foreign rubble, again the Egyptian, who were traveling with the Israel, be, Israelites began to crave the good things of Egypt. And the people of Israel also began to complain. Oh, for some meat, they exclaimed. We remember the fish we used to eat for free in Egypt. And we had all the cucumbers, melons, leeks, onions, and garlics we wanted. But now our appetites are gone. All we ever see is this mana. Ano gusto gawin ng sabihin ng author dito? What is the author trying to tell us? You know, the author of number, Numbers is pointing us pointing us back to the Adam and Eve story in the garden. Why? First, it's because of a food problem. Remember, ganoon din yung problema ni Adan at ni Eva. Ang problema nila is pagkain. Sabi sa nila, huwag mong kainin yan. But surrounding you is abundance. They can eat everything. But they wanted something that was forbidden. Second, the Hebrew word used crave is the same word used in the book of Genesis, in the story of Adam and Eve. Parang gusto sabihin ng author, by longing for their former life, even if it is horrible, naalala nila yung buhay nila, kahit na, har- kahit na alam mo yun, they were, they were prisoners, they were slaves, they were redefining what is good. Why? 
because they're calling their bondage good. Ngayon, sinasabi nila na mahigit pa dati. Okay na, maging, okay na yung slave, slave tayo. At least, kumakain naman tayo. You know, somehow, remembering those pleasures like the meat, the onions, the garlics, made them forget the dehumanizing slavery. Yung parang sa, I don't know if you had a toxic relationship before. Yung ex mo, pilit mong ginagawang why. Sino may mga ex na? Sige. Yung may mga ex. Yung ex mo, pilit mong ginagawang why. Why not give it another try? Huh? Yung, uh, pinipilit mo yun. Yung, yung, nakalimutan mo yung mga sagot mo doon sa mga kaibigan mo nung naghiwalay kayo ng boyfriend mo. Ano sabi ng mga kaibigan mo? Oy, nabalitahan ko, maghiwalay kayo. Nung naghiwalay kayo, nagiinom ka. Ano sagot mo sa kaibigan mo? Totoo yun. Actually, hanggang ngayon, umiinom ako. Bakit? Nagsa-celebrate ako. Ha? Hanggang ngayon, nagsa-celebrate ako. Sabi ng kaibigan mo, siguro, mahal mo pa rin yung boyfriend mo, no? Kasi, hindi mo siya ina-unfriend sa social media. Ano sabi mo? Hindi ko siya ina-unfriend para makita niya kung gaano ako kakasaya ngayon. Ah, yan ang sabi mo dati. Tama? Pero ngayon, nag-high lang. Aba, feeling mo para ka nasa langit na naman. Di ba? Kahit wrong send lang yung message. Ano <laughs> kasi sinasabi ko? Nakalimutan mo na yung pain na dinulot sa'yo kahit na niloko ka na. You know, I've talked this in one of our, in one of our talk. And the psychologists call this homing instinct. Sabi nyo nga, homing instinct. Ano ibig sabi ng homing instinct? Humans will try to create their childhood home no matter how painful it is. Bakit? Because it's familiar. Familiar ka na eh. Yung people choose to stay in an abusive relationship because at least the abuse is predictable. Sana ikaw na ako eh. Kaya okay lang. At yung ab- abuse, naging comfort zone mo na. And breaking free from this abusive relationship, they will go, it means you will go to an, an, an familiar territory which is extremely terrifying. Kaya ano yung ginagawa natin? We magnify the 1% pleasure and forget the 99% pain. Tama? Inaalala mo na lang yung maganda, 1% ng joy na meron ka dun sa taong yon or dun sa sitwasyon na yon compared to the 99% pains that it cost you. Friends, here's my ju- suggestion to you. Ready? Ito suggestion ko. Don't go back to the predictability of slavery. Inalis ka na ng Diyos dyan. Malis ka na. And keep moving forward to the unpredictable places where only God is certain. Alis ka na dun. Because here, maybe it's, unpre- maybe it's unpredictable, but God is here. And He will be with you. Yes? Tinga, sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag mo nang balikan. Move on na. Huh? <laughs> Alam mo, maraming nakaka-relate. <laughs> so that's the first message. Let's go now to the second message. And the second message on how to switch from complaining to celebrating is this. Reject the poison of entitlement by nurturing appreciation. Let's look at what verse 6 says in the book of Numbers. All we ever see is this manna. Ang na- nagre-reklamo sila at ang sinasabi nila, ang nakikita na lang namin, itong manang ito. You know, remember, in the book of Exodus, when they first received manna, 
in the wilderness, going to, the, to Mount Sinai, they celebrated that manna. Bakit? Because it is a miracle. Gutum sila, and this is the food that was provided by God to them. But now, they are complaining this manna. They forgot the amazing joy they felt when God gave them this manna. And the numbers describes this miraculous food in this way. Tingnan natin, ano sabi dun sa mana? The mana looked like a small korea- coriander seeds and it was pale yellow like gum raisin. The people would go out and gather it from the ground. So every morning they will go out, they will get this mana and they made flour by grinding it with hand mills or pounding it in using a mortar. So para silang, para siyang Tinapay. So, they, they're pounding it. Then they boiled it in a pot and made it into a flat cake. So, cakes. And this cake tasted like pasties baked with olive oil. The manna came down on the camp with the dew during the night. Every morning, you know, this miracle, ito yung bumubulaga sa kanila. Every morning. And it's free. Wala sila, hindi nila kailangan magtrabaho. Dumarating nilang every night. Kailang ito yung problema. Dahil libre, they took it for granted. Libre. And later on, nagre-reklamo na sila. Ano sabi nila? Bakit walang palaman? Diba? Bakit puro tinapay? Nasa na yung palaman? Ito na reklamo nila. You know, ang galing ng authors ng numbers, they are exposing the weaknesses or the weakness of human nature. Ano ibig sabihin? I want you to look at this. Yan. When you give a gift to a person first time, people appreciate it. But give the gift again and again, it becomes expectation. Keep giving the same gifts, it becomes entitlement. Halimbawa, sino sa inyo nakapagbigay na ng iPhone sa anak nila? Ah. Okay, phone lang, walang iPhone. Imaginein mo yung anak mo, binigyan mo ng iPhone. Yung anak mo, tuwan-tuwa, di ba? Mangiyak-ngiyak yan, nagtatatalon sa tuwa. Tapos lahat ng utos, iutos mo gagawin. Bakit ba? iPhone yun eh. Tapos every year, na-appreciate niya yan, di ba? Tuwan-tuwa siya, thank you, baby, thank you, daddy. Ang saya-saya niya. And she will appreciate that iPhone. Every year, bigyan mo. Kasi, nagre ka ng contract sa Globe or sa Smart. Na? Bigyan mo the following year. I-expect niya na na, bibigyan mo siya. Tama? Bakit kasi every year na siya eh. And the child will expect it. Pero isang araw, huwag mong bigyan. Ano sasabihin ng anak mo? Nasa na yung iPhone ko? Nasa na? Ano sagot mo? Anak, hindi na iPhone. Ipon na. May trabaho ka na. Di ba mag-ipon ka na? <laughs> Nakon yung sinasabi ko? It becomes entitlement. Friends, reject the poison of entitlement. How? Two ways. Number one, Ask God to give you a deeper sense of appreciation. You ask God for grace. You ask God, Lord, help me to be appreciative of everything that you are giving me. Bakit? Kasi baka magaya tayo sa Israelite. Let's look at what happened to the Israelite in verse 18. Now the Lord will give you meat. Sinagot ng Diyos yung panalangin nila. And you will have to eat it. And it won't be for just a day or two or four, five or ten or even twenty. You will eat it for a whole month. Isang, isang buwan. Until you gag and are sick of it. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Hanggang masuka ka. Yung parang di ba yung mga nanay natin, ma, akin na lang yan. Akin na lang yan. O ito, sa'yo, saksak mo sa baga mo. Parang ganon. Parang ganon. 
For you have rejected the Lord who is here among you, and you have whined to him, saying, Why did he ever leave Egypt? Friends, minsan may mga pangarap tayo na hindi pa napapanahon, pero pinipilit mong makuha ngayon. Nalala ko when I was still in insurance sales. Simula ako, medyo umuok yung benta, umuok yung grupo ko, and I heard this um, sales trainer speaking about buying a BMW Series 5. Sabi niya, kung gusto mo maging successful sa, sa negosyo nito, kahit, alam mo yun, kahit wala ka pa, hindi ka pa masyado successful, bumili ka na nito. Because this will push you to be successful. Kasi pipilitin mo talaga eh. No? Tapos hindi lang yan. Makikita ng mga tao, naka-BMW ka pag may kliyente ka. May iya silang hindi bumili sa'yo. But during that time, I was listening to Bo on how to be simple. So buti na hindi ako nakinig. Bakit? Kasi kung hindi, baka manibela na yung pinapakain ko doon sa mga anak ko. <laughs> Kasi hindi, hindi, hindi ganun kadali ang, ang insurance. Kaya hindi ako, hindi ako bumili ng BMX kasi hindi pa napapanahon. Pero kung pinili, sorry, BMW. <laughs> huh? BMX ang binili ko na lang. <laughs> hindi ko muna pinilit. Bakit? Kasi kung pinilit ko, naku, mamamablema ako sa monthly. But I bought a brand new car, an Innova. So, at least, meron pa rin, meron pa rin akong napapakita sa iba. I was able to do good sales. Hindi ko pinilit. Friends, what am I trying to say? Be careful with your dreams or your prayers. Wag mong madaliin. Because God sometimes answer our prayers packaged not with blessings, but with discipline. Sometimes God will let you have what you want, even if it's, it's not good for you, kahit hindi okay for you, to allow your stupidity to run its full course so that you will repent. Kasi nga, tapikin mo nga nasa kaliba mo, sabihin mo sa kanya, Pag namamadali, madalas namamali. Sagutin mo nga siya. Mali yata ako na naupuan. <laughs> Dahil kalabit ng kalabit. Huwag kang magmamadali. It's better for you to have what you want on God's timing, and eventually, than, than having it now, eventually, it will cause you problems. Yes? Now, second way of rejecting poison of entitlement is this. You have to nurture it. Sabi nyo nga, nurture it. Alam nyo, appreciation is, it is like a plant that you have to nurture it or it will die. Kaya may suggestion ako sa inyo. Is that Okay. Suggestion ko sa inyo. Pag uwi nyo ng bahay, bumili ka ng post-its. Alam nyo post-its? Uh, yan yung dinidikit. May susulat ka, tas dinidikit. Diba? Yan, yan ang post-its. Bili ka. Now, anong kulay? Bahala na kayo kung anong favorite, favorite mong color. Tapos, pag uwi mo ng bahay, lagyan mo yung mga bagay that you are celebrating about. Ha? Kunyari, yung, yung rep mo. Uy, bago yung rep ko. Yeah, something to celebrate. Lagay mo ng post it kung pink yan or red, whatever it is, lagay mo. Uh, yung aircon, uh, something to celebrate. Kasi kahit mainit, kahit malakas, at least magagamit ko siya, kahit medyo mataas yung kuryente, okay na rin. Uh, celebrate. Tapos yung anak mo, uh, lagay mo, mo rin sa noo habang natutulog. <laughs> yung asawa mo. Uh, bahala magulat sila pag ising nila. Uh, mukha na silang Post it. <laughs> but again, grow your appreciation. Sabi nyo nga, grow your appreciation. Sabi mo sa mga tabi mo, grow your appreciation. 
And the third message is this, on how to switch from complaining to celebrating. Don't let envy blind you to what God has appointed you. Envy. Sabi nyo nga, envy. Siguro sabi nung iba na ko, ito pala topic natin, hindi ko issue yan, Brother James. Hindi ko issue yan. Sana pala hindi nila ako umaten ng talk ngayon. Sana sumama nila ako doon sa mga kaibigan ko nag-outing, nakainggit sila. You know, envy is like a common cold. Pag may sipon ka, normal na. At hindi mo alam na naiinggit ka. Bakit? Kasi maraming justification. Kasi mayabang siya, kasi maarte siya. At yung iba, dahil sa inggit, alam nyo ba, nakakagawa ng mali. Do you know that? O katulad nito, pinatay dahil pogi. Sabi kasi niya, kailangan mababasan ang mga pogi Ayan, ayan. Kailangan babawasan mga pogi sa Pilipinas. Ito umano ang sigaw ng isang grupo na pangit na mga kalalakihan na pumatay kay Muhammad Ali Sharif sa Sampaloc, Manila. Ayan. News. Nakalagay sa news eh. Hindi ko alam kung totoo pero mukhang totoo eh. Pinatay dahil pangit. Ay, sorry. Pinatay ng mga pangit dahil pogi. Ayan. Sige, sabi mo nga sa katabi mo. Ingat ka paglabas mamaya, ha? <laughs> Sabi mo sa kanya, buti ka pa wala kang problema. <laughs> ano sabi ni Bill Murray? Social media is training us to compare our lives instead of appreciating everything we are. No wonder everyone is always depressed. And, you know, I agree with him. Because social media amplifies everything inside us, both good and bad. Because social media, because in social media, everyone looks happy. Tama ba? Pag tinig naman mga Facebook pages, makikita mo parang ansa sa ng mga tao. Tama? Bakit? Dahil yung mga tao gusto mema. Mema i-post lang. Yung, yung kahit ano, para mapakitang masaya. And because of this, you start looking at your life. Anong sabi mo? Why is their life cool and mine is boring? Ang ganda nung nangyayari sa kanila. Pero sa akin, boring. But friends, let me remind you that social media did not cause the envy. Envy is already an ancient problem. Dati pa yan, problema na. From Cain and Abel now, in our story in the book of Numbers. Let's look at what happened in Numbers 12, verse 1 to 2. And it says here, Miriam and Aaron criticized Moses because he had married a Cushite woman. Sabi nyo nga, Cushite woman. They said, has the Lord spoken only to Moses? Has it, he spoken to us too? You know, si Aaron at si Miriam, kapatid ni Moses, at sila yung unang racist, sa Biblia. Bakit? Kasi yung Kushite, Kushite woman means dark skin woman. So medyo maitim yung napangasawa ni Moses. And in the surface, they are criticizing Moses. Parang kinikriticize nila si Moses. But if you look at it deeper, they are envious of him. Naiinggit sila kay Moses. And not only that, they're also criticizing God's wisdom in choosing Moses. Friends, ito yung gusto kong sabihin. When we envy, we criticize God's wisdom. Anong ibig ko sabihin? Parang kinikwestiyon mo na hindi niya alam yung ginagawa niya. Nabulag ang Diyos sa pangangailangan ko. Na hindi siya patas sa biyaya na pinagpapala niya sa kanyang mga anak, hindi siya patas. But if you look at our story, Miriam, Miriam and Aaron should celebrate. Why? Let's go back to verse 2. And they said here, Has the Lord spoken only to Moses? Hasn't He spoken through us too? Di ba kinakausap din naman niya yung mga tao through us. Friends, here, here's their problem. Ito yung problema ni Aaron and ni Miriam. 
nakalimutan nila na mapalad din sila katulad ni Moses. Because God has, has been blessing and appointed them to speak to His people. Friends, do you want to get rid of envy? Do you want to get rid of envy? Here's the key. Huwag mong kakalimutan na mapalad ka rin dahil pinagpapala ka ng Diyos. I invite you to stand. Sige, sabihin mo nga dun sa nasa kanan mo, mapalad ka. Sabi mo naman dun sa kaliwa, malapad ka. Bench. Alam mo, pag feeling mo, hindi tayo mapalad. Pag may nakita kang mas mapalad, maiinggit ka. Is that right? Can I be vulnerable with you? Ganyan man ang builder niya, eh, no? Laging vulnerable. And most of the builders are. Alam niyo ba na medyo, medyo lang? Baka, baka eh, tanggal mo nga yung audio, baka mapanood dito. Medyo naiinggit ako sa ibang feast, lalo na sa Bellevue. But alam, alam naman natin na Bellevue, hotel yan eh. ba diba? Hotel. Pero dito sa atin, we're in the cinema, but at least may panlaban tayo, masarap yung upuan ninyo. ba diba? Malambot. Yung iba ka nakakatulog pa, nakikita ko sa likod eh. Diba? Pero alam yon hotel, cinema, tapos hindi lang yon Nakail-edible naka doon. Sa ta, tayo, hanggang ngayon, ilang taon na projector pa din. Tsaka nga pala maraming salamat doon sa mga nag-donate ha, ng ating uh, projector because I've, I've asked you before we leave for a donation. And we're able to buy projector. May, medyo mas mataas itong nabili natin. in terms of lumens and we're able to gather about 36,000 plus. Thank you very much. Kaya nakabili tayo ng projector. Ano pa? Sa Bellevue yung Shomai Mura. Mas ang sarap. <laughs> Nami-miss ko yung Shomai doon eh. No? Tagal din tayo magkakasama doon eh. Pero dito, enjoy din ako kasi may bunete naman. Di ba? May bunete naman. at libreng kape. <laughs> Pero ang medyo, alam mo yun, at the back of my mind, medyo, I'm, I'm envious of where they are because they're able to grow the feast there. About 600 plus attendees per session in, in the morning. Tayo, 300 plus for the two sessions. Why? Because da, kahit na, alam mo yun, dami natin ginawang promotion eh. ba? Diba? Kabit tayo ng mga tarpaulin sa mga tricycle. Halos lahat mga tao nga sa Las Piñas gusto natin kabitan ng tarpaulin eh. Para ma-promote lang yung peace out. Mo. Pero hindi tayo mag-grow. Why? Because of the space limitation. Hindi natin magamit yung malaking cinema regularly. That's why pag nakakita ako ng, alam mo yun, yung attendees natin before here in Peace Out Mall, attending there, alam mo, kahit parang may kurot. And there are servants also na nandun na who are not serving with us now. Parang mayroong may konting kurot. But last week, 
kinausap ako ng isang council leader natin. But before that, natutuwa naman ako because despite these issues that I have in my mind, kakatuwa because ang problema, one of our problems before is the production, production ministry. Before we leave for Greece, ang daming mga nag sabi na gusto namin mag-serve when we open the production ministry. And I'd like to thank my son, si Miguel, and si Kitin, who said yes to lead our production ministry. So they are now the production head of our production ministry. Parang redundant. Ano? They're the heads of our production ministry. Last last week, nakakatuwa because one of our council leader called me up. Sabi niya, Brother James, um, na-concern tayo sa ministry before sa music ministry because yung music ministry natin, hindi ko mabitawan, hindi ko matutukan yung ibang ministry na hawak ko in the council but these three approached me and they asked if they can level up their ministry in the ministry. Sabi ko, yeah, ano bang, ano bang, ano bang gusto nila? Sabi niya, kasi gusto nila yung isa mag-head nung, siya yung mag-head nung uh, mga instrumentalist, yun ang kanya magiging, para ma-improve yung, yung, yung banda natin, ma-train, and uh, yung isa will continue to, to do the administrative work, and yung isa sabi niya, nagsabi na siya na yung mag-head ng music ministry para makafocus ako dun sa ibang gawain ko as the council. And I would like to thank si Aaron, si Marian, and si Jandrel for stepping up in the ministry. Parang ayaw po na. But you know, one thing na nakataba rin ang puso ko is when we're on vacation, nung nagbabakasyon kami sa Greece, people continue to serve kasi nakikita ko naman yung mga pictures na kahit wala kami, servants continued serving, leaders continued leading, and they go beyond it actually. No? Like nung nakaraan, nung nasunugan, magkaroon ng sunog dito sa isang area sa Las Piñas, Golden Acre. Nasunugan. Eto, may nagpunta agad, tumulong. Kaya merong, merong tayong relief operation for fire victim. Ang ganda, oh, natupok man ng apoy, biyaya ay dadaloy. Yung kahit hindi ako nag-i-initiate, servants, leaders are initiating. Stepping up. That's before uh, last Saturday. Not, not this Saturday, the other Saturday before preaching after our vacation. Nakareceive ako ng message to one of our attendees. Nag-message, Brother James, are you going to preach this Sunday. And sabi ko, yeah. Parang namiss yata ako nung attendee. Now sometimes, I focus on the things na parang others are more blessed than than I am. Their ministry are flourishing than my ministry. But as if God told me through these people who stepped up, people who continue serving God, continue doing the ministry beyond FSM, parang gusto sabihin lang sa akin, Lord, that I have appointed 
a blessing and provision for you to be grateful and for me to accomplish what I started in you. Friends, I don't know if this resonates with you. Maybe you came here today and I'm feeling mo parang am I blessed? But parang bless yung iba. Is there something in my life to be thankful for? Is there something in my life to celebrate about? God is telling you today, I have appointed a blessing and provision to accomplish what I started in your life. Yes? Bakit? Because the God that we worship in this place is for you. It's not against you. He is for you. So therefore, let's come before Him with praise. Let's come before Him with thanksgiving. Let's come before Him with gratitude because the God that we worship here is for us. Oh yes, Lord, we thank You for Your words today. We thank You for reminding us that there is something in us that we should be grateful for. There is something in us that we should be thankful for thank you for telling us today that blessings, provisions are already in place so that what you've started in us will continue and the God that we worship here thank you for reminding us is the God who is for us not against us but for us why today, Lord, we lift our hands to you in praise. We lift our hearts to you in worship. And we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Stop complaining, start 
celebrating have you learned something today and we've got a big hand once again thank you Jesus thank you Lord thank you thank you for reminding us that we are blessed let's be seated and let's prepare for our love offering would like to invite again our first timer pwede po bang ma-invitahan ulit yung mga first timer natin if this is your first time can we invite you to stand para makita namin kayo ayan if this is your first time ayan welcome mayroon pa po rin mayroon pa po rin sa likodan thank you I always say this to our first oh pag po muna kayo mo po because we would like to see you I always say this to our first time or tayo lang po muna kayo uh, we have something for you I always say this to our first timer that your present series is not an accident I believe God brought you here and our prayer is that you just journey with us every Sunday we do this we have two sessions in the morning we have the 9 o'clock and this is where you are now and we have also at 11 o'clock journey with us and katulad din namin first lagi first timer kami but now we've learned a lot of things and we've experienced God's miracles in this place so please join us every Sunday and bring your family bring your friends pwede ba namin kayo ipagdasal is that, is that okay can, you, can we extend our hands to them friends and let's pray for them Father, we thank you for these new friends who have added into our numbers. We thank you for their lives. We thank you, Lord, that you have brought them here. We do not know the reason, but we know that it is you who brought them here. And our prayer, I sana matagpuan ka nila rito, ma-experience silang pagmamahal mo rito through the people in Fis SM South Mall. And Lord, you know their concerns, you know their situations. I pray that this coming week you surprise them with your answered prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Welcome. Again, at the end of our gathering, please go to the lobby. We have something for you. And we want to know more about you. And see you next Sunday. Some of our announcements. All right. Thank you, Brother James. Uh, so... Our announcements like and subscribe to our social media channels, to our Facebook and YouTube. Just search Feast SM South Mall. So please support our pages but uh, you can be updated. And there are also daily um, posts on no, prayers and quotes and all that. So ayan, please, please give us support. Ayan. Um, next, we would like to invite you to serve with us. Ayan. So whatever talent that you have, Meron coming ministry for you. And meron for music. And if you want to join the music ministry, we are open. Just reach out to me or any of the members. Uh, so the media and events, intercessory, dance, AKM, or Awesome Kibs Ministry. Welcome, connect, warmth, and even food. Kasi mahilig dito kumain. Ayan. So meron din ministry din for you. Ayan. Hindi kayo kakain, kayo mag to serve to our servants and also if you want to cook you can cook for our servants as well ayan so awesome kids ministry we have two sessions 9 a.m and 11 a.m session so if you want to uh, fully enjoy the feast um you can put uh place your kids or dun meron din silang mini feast feast dun sa ano nila sa labas ng ating cinema so ayan oh, may i call um our youth leaders and youth ministry leaders, Janina and Matt. Good morning, everyone. So finally, um, our camp, Kalia, this is a youth camp, is finally on site. So this will be on June 9 to 11. And gaganapin po to sa Alta Rios Resort in Dang Kabitepo. 
Ayan. The camp fee for this is 2,000 per camper po. We have QR code or we also have a number uh, for you to register and pay through GCash or PayMy. Po. We have a booth outside so if you have any inquiries and if you want to join, please join po. We have a booth outside po. Thank you. Okay, so meron naman tayong youth home for the, our camp upcoming Saturday. So, sino yung mga available dyan this coming Saturday? You may invite your friends as well. May bawa pagkagaling sa school or kung ano mga pinagkakabala. This will be on May 27, 5 to 6, 8 p.m. And this will be held on Festival Expo Hall. And our topic for coming Saturday is hopelessness. And yung para sa mga... Um, paano nga ba natin i-overcome pag wala na tayong pag-asa sa mga pagay-pagay? So, ayun lang, ano nga ba ganap natin doon? There will be worship, there will be activities and sharings as well. And you will be meeting new friends. So, ayun, see you there next week. See you guys. I would like to take this opportunity also. No? I'm a brother yo, kung naalala niyo po. Meron po kami, uh, kami po yung pillar po sa, sa connect, no? connect. We are the discipleship. This is my wife, Gina. I would like to take this opportunity to to encourage all of you kasi meron po kami tinatawag na light group no wala po sa announcement to but we have light groups meron po tayong sa sa youth ito po yung ginagawa nila sa youth may youth home at sa singles nasaan yung mga singles po dito taas ang kamay mga singles yan meron din po silang light groups it's a small group of people na Doon kayo mag-share face-to-face. Pwede. Pwede sa Zoom. Uh, bahala po kayo. Meron po mag, uh, mag-ano sa inyo sa labas. No? Pwede kayo mag-inquire about the light groups. Meron din po sa couples. The head of the couples is also here. Ayan po. Meron din po kami sa mga senior citizens. We call it the, the GLM. The Gracious Living Ministry. We also have solo parents. Meron din po uh, ano pa ba? Namisko. Wala na. Yun na. So, hanggang po sa AKM, yun po, yun jam. Yun po naman yung ginagawa nila. But, these are small groups and we encourage you that dito po, nakaupo lang kayo eh. Pero pagdating po doon sa light group, you will have the the opportunity to share your victories and your losses also. Kasi, yun po yung purpose po natin to have a basic ecclesial community in each of our feasts and also in our parishes. Welcome po kayo sa aming Light Group Ministry here at the Feast. Palakpakan po natin si Lord. Brother James! Yeah, may we also call on our Singles Ministry Heads. And si Josh and Ate Pat. Hello, so good morning everyone. So, ang youth, may event. Ang singles, meron rin. Sino nga ulit mga singles dito in the house? Saas kamay. Ayun, nasa likod. <laughs> but also, we'd like to acknowledge those who are watching online as singles. So, we're inviting you ulit, all singles, young men and women. So, get ready sa ating most weighted event, Singles Retreat ng ating Love Life happening this July 23. So, we're, it's gonna be on July 29 to 30 at the St. James Retreat House. So, in Investment fee is 3,500. Kasama na po dun ating food, transportation, and accommodation. So for any concerns or questions, you may contact me at sulat na may aking contact details. Right? And yung registration link is provided and we'll also be sending this sa ating mga uh, fees pages para makapag-register. Right? Pat, pat ba tayo nag-love life retreat? Ayan. So, ano, we are having our love life repeat. Uh, yan, ano, pwede, pwede ba po mag-ipon? Kasi July 29 to 30. And sulit na sulit po yung investment fee. Ayan, na 3,500. Kasi included na po yung accommodation, transport, and food. And bakit nga po ba tayo nag-love life retreat? Because we want to be in love again with life, purpose, and faith. And it, begin, it, it begins when love enters at the right time and from the right person. And there's no other person that can give that perfect love than Jesus. Ayan. So sama-sama po nating ma-experience ang love life retreat. Ayan. So in-encourage po talaga namin yung mga singles right there. Yung mga kahit mga mag-boyfriend, girlfriend pa lang po. Ayan. Attend po tayo ng love life retreat. Ayan. Thank you po. Hey, see you there. Now before, hello. 
Hello, ayan. Before we give our tithes, you know, one of the blessing of Peace SM is having these people who go beyond Peace SM and reach out to the needs of people. Kaya, gusto ko sanang palakpakan natin itong mga taong ito na patuloy na nagpapadala ng pag-ibig ng Diyos doon sa mga nangailangan. Okay, so I would like to, to honor them. No? Sila sila Ana, sila Ellen, sino pa ba? Sila Michael, no? uh, Alice. Uh, but may, kung nakalimutan pa ako, kasama ka rin dito. Ha? Uh, I would like to thank you all for again making me look good as the peace builder because you go beyond the service and the ministry. That's why I would like to invite you to if you want to donate no, uh, to sa mga nasunugan dito sa may Golden Acres nasa evacuation center sila sa Talon 1 Pag-ibig 2 Pag-ibig 3 and we are trying to give, to give them a relief do a relief operation with with them kaya kung meron kayong mga ayun na nila kasi ng mga mga dumang damit no uh, dahil minsan yung mga pinang pinang kasal ninyo pinapamigay <laughs> sabi nila kung pwede po ba yung mga toiletries yung ganyan no kumot yan okay yung mga unan yung, yung mga magagamit nila uh, if you have something to give na hindi na, hindi na nagagamit sa bahay ninyo pero maayos pa you can bring it here para ma- madala natin doon sa mga nasunugan and not only that if you want to give financial support you can also well, wala, walang number wala no uh, just approach our table there for the details you can give financially and I would like to thank our I Give Ministry because yung I Give nagpatbigay ho tayo ng pera uh, to support them, to buy the, the things they need. And maraming maraming salamat again to our I Give people. We're able to give them at least 20,000 in donation. Kaya maraming maraming salamat. And if you're not part of the I Give yet, we invite you to be part of it. Ang I Give kasi is a group of people who gives monthly uh, 1,000 for operations like this. No, para pag mayroon mga ganyan, mayroon tayong pambigay. Okay, so this this is on top of what we give in our love offering. So kung hindi pa kayo member ng I Give, please be a member and visit our table there. Again, maraming maraming salamat sa mga I Givers. Thank you very much. Let's all stand, friends, and allow me to pray for your giving. Let's all pray to God to bless what's in our hands so that He can continue to use this for His glory. Father, we thank You for allowing us to listen to Your words and to be touched by Your Spirit. Thank you for your embrace. Thank you for your reminders. And today, Lord, we would like to give back to you for your goodness, your love for us, na walang sawang binibigay mo sa amin. And today, Lord, we want to give back to you. It's very blessing na nanggaling din sa'yo. And we pray that you use this, that you bless this, so that this will multiply and continue your work here in Peace SM. And Father, I lift up to you, my friends, as they give their tithes and offering today. This coming week, Lord, I know you want to surprise them with something. I pray that you do it this week. Open doors of opportunities for them. Bless them even more as they give today. Let them be reminded that you are for them. 
And this we pray. This we thank you for. In Jesus' name, amen, amen and amen. Come, friends, with joy. Let's give our tithes and offering to Jesus. And see you all next Sunday. God bless you. Joy. In every season, you keep repeating promises to me.